Welcome back to The Walking Dead, number 13. Part, the first part of Safety Behind Bars. Written by Robert Kirkman and illustrated by Charlie Adler. Let's begin. You see the RV driving towards the prison. Please tell me that's the last time we're all going to have to pack it to that thing. I don't know. This place needs a lot of cleaning up. Oh man, I don't have the energy for this. Don't tell me that, Tyrese. It's looking like I'm really going to need you in a couple minutes. In fact, if we don't think of something soon, we're going to have to file back into the RV right now. Oh hell. Guys, I think we can pull this gate closed. Come give me a hand. Okay, don't know how to lock it. Ugh, but I doubt any of these things will think to slide it open or have the strength to really. Oh, I feel super ready. Okay, Dale, you take the girls and walk around the perimeter of this place. Make sure this place, the area in between the fences is clear. I don't want anything sleeping up on you guys. Alan, you get up on the RV with the rifle and keep an eye on the area outside of the fence. You don't want any of these things creeping from us outside. Chris and Julie, you two are our babysitters. Take Carl and Sophia and the and twins to the RV and make sure they don't set things on fire. I'll be on top if you need anything. These things are spread out enough to think I, that I think Tyrese and I can handle them on our own. Hold on, Rick. I should be on the other side of the fence with you guys. I'm the best shot in case in the group in case you've gotten. We're all tired and half starved. I think Dale, Carol, and Lori can sleep the fences just fine without me. And I think I could be of use in there. I can't argue with that. Wow, it feels a lot different on this side of the fence. Don't forget how much faster we are than these guys. Just don't get yourself sur get surrounded. If you have to run, run. Okay, let's do this, people. Grace and I will do the dirty work. You hang back. If we if we look like we've got too many of them coming at us, one of them pick well, one time pick them off. I want to keep the shots fired to a minimum. I don't want to cause them to swarm us. This isn't going. This is going to suck. Just look at this place. It'll be worth it. Rick says the axe is a zombie. It better be, says Tyrese, also killing walkers. Tyrese and Rick start killing multiple walkers. One walker sneaks up on Rick, but Andrea shoots it. They are now standing above all the dead walkers. Well, I think that's all of them. You think? Seems like there are so much more. I don't know, we killed a lot of them. Thanks for the save back there, by the way. Told you I'd be useful. The car horn goes off. You guys, hear that? What is that? I think it's coming from inside. A bunch of walkers come out, come out from the inside the prison. Andrew, run back to the RB and get us more ammo. Told you this was going to suck. Sure did call it. Headshots only. We got to make these bullets count. I'll try to make you proud. He starts shooting at the walkers. I don't like this, man. There's way too many of them. It ain't that bad. We can always just run away. Just stay calm. And pray Andrea comes back more bullets soon. Go back to the RV. You see it, Alan crying. Alan! Help me get these gates open! They need to get more bullets for us now! Oh, okay, we'll do. Inside the RV. This is fucking, this is fucking bullshit. I'm almost 17. I've got a gun. I do okay at target practice. I should be out there with Rick and Tyree shooting zombies. Not in here fucking babysitting. You shouldn't cuss so much. I, I know you're not in all the way adult saying those swears. This is gonna fool me. Shut up, brat! Chris, stop it! Come on, Sophia. Let's go up front and play. Go fish. I think Alan lets his cards out. Call me a brat. How many do you need? As much as I can carry. How bad is it? Pretty bad. These are all the cup, cup clips that are loaded in a ton of loose bullets. If you guys move through the clips, you'll have to load up new ones in a hurry. I'll leave that. Honor for Tyre. To Tyrese, he's almost useless for anything other than the hammer of his. Thanks. 
What are they talking about? I don't know. I should have told them that Chris was being mean. You ready to play? Uh-huh, you go first. Do you have a bearded guy with a black upside down heart and do you want to be my boyfriend? No way, gross. You're disgusting. Go fish. Back on the fence printer. Blam, blam. Don't worry, they're fine. Rick knows what he's doing. I know, it's just even after all this time, I'm still not used to the sound of gunfire. For you would always hear live life like every day could be your, the last, as if that would make your live life to its fullest and make you happy your person. I'm only like, like every day could be my last, and it's horrible. I've seen too much death. Any one of us could die at any minute. We've seen it happen time and time again. We're just not safe. And God help me, I'm bringing our child into this world. Lord, please. I'm not going to chalk the things up to mood swings and fucking pregnant woman hormones. Stop being so bleak. You're depressing me. I've almost got things better now. Tyrese is better than my husband ever was. If we just had some more food. I mean, look around you. Look at this place. We could have it all here. We could rebuild and make a new life. Yeah, I think I've heard that line before. I just say I won't be unpacking anytime soon. Back inside the prison. Got another clip loader. Who wants it? I'll take it. This keep this keeps up like this. We're gonna run out. I think we lucked out. Look. You think that's all of them? It'd be nice. One way to find out. Rick fires a shot in the air. I think that's it. At least for this section of the prison. I'm not sure there's a lot of lazy ones still in there, but they're staying there for now. Let's get to work. We got a lot of burning to do. Nighttime. We'll burn the rest tomorrow. They're not in our way, and I just don't have the energy to get them far away from, away from us to burn before dark. Sound like you're apologizing, Rick. We're all just exhausted as you are, Rick. We know what, what you're going through. Yeah, Alan's right. We need some. We need to find some food quick. I'm hungry, Mommy. I want some food. I know, honey. I'm sorry. We just don't have any. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. Tomorrow we'll have everything we need for a good long, long time. This place has got to have a stockpile of canned goods. Hopefully it was overrun by the undead before it could have been looted by anyone. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's just full of flesh eating monsters and, or big beat are still intact in there. If, so, if someone had said that, that last year that I wouldn't... Ever later that line out loud, I'd still be laughing now. Jesus, I'd love some big beads right now. Later that night, Rick's on top of the RV. Oh, that time already? Yep, take a note for you. You're going to sleep on the side of the fence just yet? I know I'll, I will in about an hour. I'm still not sure if it's, it's any safer on the other side. We killed a lot of zombies in there today, but that's a big place. I'm sure there's more. Of course, if the gate was working on the second fence, we could have closed ourselves in with a fence on either side. That's something we need to do if we end up staying here. Fix the gates. It's no good to have three fences if only one of them has a gate we can close. Rick, if we don't end up staying here, I'm shooting myself in the face. I'm going to spend another night in this RV, this RV. Relax, Rick. I was joking. Man, you don't... You know, I don't have enough sleep for that. Cut me some slack. I'll see you in the morning. Do not, Rick. The morning. Getting an early start, hon? Huh? Uh, gross. Still gave me, like, at me. I didn't know anyone else was awake. You, we weren't. You're, you're, weren't. you're jogging through the RV to come out here and vomit as our new wake-up call. I'm more heaving than actual puking. I don't really have to, anything to throw up. I know, Laura. We don't find it. Find food in prison by noon. I'm gonna go out into the woods and hunt until I found something, something or die of starvation. So I wouldn't be out there more than a couple hours. Don't make me laugh when I'm wiping vomit off my mouth. You've never been more. You've never been more beautiful than you are right now. What did I just tell you? Give us a kiss. No, my breath. I've gotten used to your breath. Trust me. Well, you two aren't. Well, you two aren't you pregnant enough? I'm way too pregnant, trust me. Oh, stop it, you're barely even showing. Save the complaining for when you can't stand us, stand up without help. Don't worry, I got plenty of complaining life when that time comes. Okay, P listen up, people. I know everyone's hungry and anxious to get inside this place. 
just to see how livable it really is. I know I am. Tyrese and I are going in, and we're going to sweep as large an area as we can. Make sure it's clear and close off from the rest of the prison. So that maybe, just maybe, we won't have to sleep in that damn RV tonight. But we're in there. I want Laura, Andra, and Alan on zombie burn in detail. Drag those carcasses out to where we burned the others last night. And try and clean out the prison grounds. If we're going to live here, I'd like to get rid of all of that stuff. They only want you to be at the gate with a shotgun, watching them drag the bodies out. Make sure they're in the clear at all times. We don't have many shells or bullets left. We'll use them sparingly. Chris and Julie, you're babysitting in the RV again. I know it's not very exciting, but I need to make sure your you kids are safe. Hopefully after today, you won't need to do this anymore. I thought we covered this yesterday. I'm the best shot here. I should be inside of you two. In open area, yeah, but... Why not inside? I'd already not use our gun unless we have to. It's an unclosed space. We should get surrounded if we attract them to us. We don't know how much lap the lap will have either. Do you know where Glenn's flashlights are? I know he left them with us. I think I know where they are at. I'll be right back. <laughs> Please be careful in there, Rick. I'm going to be worried sick out here. Relax, son. I have to have Tyrese protect me. Just now would not be the best time to make to you that I'm afraid of the dark. Found them. I'll let you hold both flashlights if you want. Come on, let's do this. We'll be back soon. Be safe. You too. You're in luck, Darius. Looks like we won't be needing these flashlights, at least not in this area. Man, Rick, this is nice. With all these windows, it's not dark at all. I was really worried if that would be moved here with torches or candles or something. I, was, I wasn't really looking forward to living in the dark most of the time. Yeah, this place is great, but don't get too comfortable. It's more than likely still got a few of the old tenants left, and just because we'll be able to see them doesn't make them any less dangerous. I hear you. Ugh! I see a walker on the hallway. Tyrese kills it. Kinda jumpy there, there huh? uh You're not expecting to see any of these things in here? Huh? Oh, we'll eat more. Oh, eat more. I'll be more worried about me when the sight of these things doesn't startle me. It is come and gone for me long ago, my friend. L lucky you. Lots on. It's getting pretty dark back here. It sure be nice if all the roamers came out at us yesterday and let us wipe them out. If it was nothing but this place it wanted here, it would be much easier to clean them out. What do you think is behind door number one? Past experience is any indication we're looking at a room full of zombies on the other side of this door. We know the way out. I say we open fire and start backing up as soon as I open these doors. We can always pick them off once we get outside. This is like a plan. I'm ready when you are. Get ready. Go! Rick and Terry are about to shoot, but they realize there's, there's only four people inside. And they aren't walkers. Hey! Guys, want some meatloaf? That was the end of issue number 13.